Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a remake of my previous Dollar Tree faux mirror DIY wall art. Many of you have left so many wonderful comments and also comments how hard it has been to find the mirror plates at the Dollar Tree, so I found an alternative for the plates from Hobby Lobby. You can keep trying the Dollar Tree as the holidays are near or try Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or any other craft store. I heard even Walmart had some similar plates, um, but these plates have an elegant border to them that make the wall art look very luxurious and just as beautiful as my last DIY. This video will also show you how to assemble the back. It isn't too heavy, but yet sturdy to hang. If you are subscribed to my channel, I highly appreciate your support. Thank you all so much. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I'll be posting another DIY soon and you don't want to miss it. Now let's get started. This DIY video is sponsored by Heat Clickers. Heat Clickers is a company that specializes in heat therapy products and offers reusable heat packs. This company sent me one of their heat packs and I wanted to share with you all how amazing it really is. I actually like this product so much I ended up purchasing several more as gifts for the holidays coming up and a few birthday presents. They gave me a 15% off coupon code and they were kind enough to let me share this code with you all as well. So I'll leave the website link and discount code in the description box. They offer two different sizes of heat packs, one that you can use for your hands or smaller portions on the body and then a neck and shoulder pack that can also be folded and used on other areas of the body. You can use these packs for soothing aches, cramps, reduced stress, hospice care, staying warm or just relaxation. I was really surprised that it requires no electricity and can be reused. In the past, I've always purchased heating pads that just always required electric cords or self-activated packs that would only last a couple times. So what I love about this is that it's super Super safe and is reusable over and over again. To activate the heat pack, just locate the metal disc inside the pack, flex it back and forth and you will hear a click noise. This triggers a reverse chemical reaction and the solution inside the pack begins to crystallize. I'm guessing this is where they get the name from because of the click noise and it generates heat. The solution is of water, sodium acetate, which is non-toxic and non-hazardous. This pack actually heats up to 130 degrees and lasts from 30 minutes to an hour long. To reuse the pack, all you have to do is boil it for 20 minutes. Make sure cloth is placed in the boiling water underneath the heat pack while you boil it. This is the coolest heat pack I've ever seen. I love how fast it activates and how safe it is. Since the holidays are coming up, this makes a great gift for those who want to wow someone, help with any aches and pains, stay warm, reward a hard worker, or just relax and treat yourself after a long day. The neck and shoulder pack is only $39.99 and the smaller hand and body warmers come four in a pack for only $19.99. We can spend so much time searching for the perfect gift, home decor, or whatever it may be, but there's no better gift than a product that can actually help your body and make someone feel loved and relaxed this neck and shoulder pack is also big enough to fit on my husband and he uses it almost every other day check out their website at heatclickers.com that's heat clickers with a z at the end and i'll leave the website link down below and use this 15 percent off discount code lg queen when you check out these plates are from hobby lobby you will need two large packs each pack contains 20 plates for $6.99 then you will need one small plate pack that contains 20 plates for $5.99. I use a coupon, they always have coupons, so make sure you look for one before you go. You will need 10 foam boards from the Dollar Tree. To hang the project, you will need one pack of the ring hangers from Hobby Lobby. You will need a screwdriver, tape measure, two bottles of the Gorilla Construction Adhesive Glue from Walmart, and a Colt gun also from Walmart. Here's an up close view of the ring hangers that you will need for the project. Here I laid the base for the size I want the project to be. You will now need to grab additional poster boards to construct the back of the project so that it will stay strong and have support. To hold the project together, I used six poster boards, glued in pairs of two to glue to the back of the layout, then start by gluing one poster board to another. Once again, I repeated this process two more times to have three pairs. The glue I used dries fairly quick so this will help you work quickly. Place the double boards you just glued together to the back of the base and align them. I 
I used several books to hold the baseboards together. Leave it to dry for a few hours. Once your base is dried, remove the books and get your measuring tape and decide where you want to screw in the hooks. As you can see, I use these hooks because I have created enough thickness for the screws with the stacked poster boards. I measured 4 by 3 inches on the sides. Once you have your measurement, begin to screw in your hooks. I aligned the plates to see which design I wanted to go with. When creating yours, you can do the same to test out which way looks best and also determine where you will need to place the plates to glue them. After I aligned them, I noticed to make it even, I would have to start by gluing half the plate. Work your way up or side to side gluing the plates down so you can make sure you are staying aligned. After a few hours of drying, I took the smaller plates and began to glue them in sections throughout the project. This added texture design. Let your project dry for 24 hours before hanging. An art canvas may be easier because there is no constructing for the base than poster board, but it can cost extra money. I was able to get the base complete for $10 and the entire project for a total of under $60. This is one huge waller and looks like it's worth so much more. I imagine if it was a real mirror and portrait this size, it would easily be worth over $1,000. Don't forget to check out HeatClickers.com for their reusable heat packs and use the code LGQueen to save 15% off your purchase. Use them for yourself, impress your family or friends, give them as gifts. They are so wonderful, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this DIY remake and find these plates of your choice to remake this beautiful piece of art. Stay tuned for my next video coming up soon. As always, have a beautiful and blessed day.